Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So, Fear the Walking Dead Season 5 is no longer airing episodes for about a month. We are on the mid-season break. It's usually about two months, but I believe it comes back for Episode 9 in less than a month from now, so that's new. Usually there's eight episodes, a two-month break, and then another eight episodes into season. You know, rinse, repeat six months later. But yeah, it seems like there's just going to be less than a month bet before Episode 9 airs. But we still have, what, three weeks before then. So basically, we're still on a mid-season break. There's going to be a few weeks without an episode. But at the end of episode 8, there was a bit of a cliffhanger because while Morgan's entire group survived the whole first half, they survived the whole radiation ordeal, although some characters got infected with radiation. We don't know if that's going to hurt them or kill them or not, but for now, everyone's alive, everyone's okay, no one died in the first half of the season. Literally, no one died. I don't even think any, like, anyone died, like, any bad guys, any humans or anything. But yeah, all the good guys are still alive, they all survived the first half, and they're all together, Daniel's with them, Dwight's with them, the kids are with them, the radiation threat is no longer a thing that's been taken care of, Grace is with them. And Logan, who was the guy that kind of screwed them over at the beginning of the season and, and tricked them into going somewhere really far away so that he could take their home because it used to belong to him, he drives his car over to the characters and he goes, look, uh, you, you guys need to listen to me. I know I got like I screwed you guys over before, but if you guys want to help any more people, you need to listen to me because the gas is about to go bad and you're not going to be able to help people anymore unless you do some of the things I say. And also, there was a woman that was talking to them on the radio asking for help and Logan says, if you're wanting to help her, you need to do the things I'm saying. So, I, I don't know if Logan is tricking them, if the woman on the radio is really someone that's in trouble or not, because remember, at the beginning of episode 8, Logan is with a group of people, he's still at the denim factory that he took over, and he's with a group of people, and there's this woman that's asking him where something is, and she, she threatens to kill him. We still don't know too much about them, but I don't know if Logan was really telling the truth, he acted like he was actually trying to help and he had good intentions and that maybe he was trying to, cha to change his ways but at the end of the very end of the episode like the last few seconds of the episode there's this this om ominous music playing that seems to kind of imply that maybe Logan was lying to them and plus not only that but there was the teaser trailer for the back half of season 5 and it seems like unlike the radiation from the first half of the season the main threat in the back half of the season is going to be Logan and his people. Now, I don't even know if they're his people or not because the, the, the people that he was with were threatening to kill him. But in the teaser trailer, it, it seems like Logan and a group of people, I'm guessing the same group of people that was with him, they're the bad guys. They're the bad guys of the back half of the season. They're the big threat of the back half of the season. So it looks like Logan is indeed going to be a villain if the teaser trailer for the back half of the season is anything to go by. And like I said, that trailer made it seem like he was the villain. He was the main villain. He and the, and the army of people. So it's kind of like a light Negan and the Saviors type of thing, like a, like a light governor and the governor's people. We're now dealing with a bad guy and an army of the bad guy's people. Or maybe the, the army has their own leader and they have a different agenda. Maybe Logan's not completely a bad guy, but he's having to do certain things and he's just kind of caught up in the middle of it. Because, like I said, in episode 8, they were threatening to kill him, so he might be doing things he doesn't want to do to to not get killed. Because we know that's his big thing, not getting killed, not getting killed, not getting killed, being a cockroach that just doesn't do the right thing in order to stay alive. We do know about that part of him. And, and whether or not he's a full-on villain, 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 that has yet to be seen. But, yeah, it does seem like, uh, most likely, most likely that... The main villain, the main threat in the back half of the season is going to be Logan and the army of people. Now that could be wrong, that, that might not be true, but right now 
that's what it seems like. Logan could end up turning into a good guy, or maybe he gets killed in episode 9 or 10 or 11, and then there's just an army of people. Maybe there's a new bad guy, a new threat that we haven't seen yet, that has yet to be previewed and will be shown during the back half. But for now, it does seem like Logan is lying to them, and he is going to be the main villain. He and the group of people that he's with, they're going to be the main villain of the back half. So whatever Logan's telling them at the end of Episode Eight, I think he is once again trying to trick them into doing something for his benefit. He really needs to stop doing that because he already did that once and he's lucky they haven't kicked his ass. <laughs> but yeah, it seems like that he's up to some bad shit and that he will cause problems in episode 9 through 16 or however long until he gets killed off or leaves the show or whatever. And not only him, but the group of people that he's with, they are going to be causing some problems in the back half of the season. So it seems like they're going to be the main villain, they're going to be the main threat in episode 9 through episode 16. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day, so please hit that subscribe button. Right now we are at 567 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 600 in the next few months, so just remember, Every subscriber counts, every bit of support matters, and is very, very appreciated. Hopefully we can get to that goal of 600. We are just 33 subscribers away from 600, just 33 more people. If 33 more people hit that subscribe button, we will be at the 600 subscriber milestone. Getting pretty close, can't wait for that. But yeah, with all that said, I'm Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye!